All right, I'm gonna be working on some leading with Caster, and I'm just gonna start again in protective contact. He's already had the halters on, you've seen before. Definitely a lot of time has passed. I think he only had a, maybe two sessions for November. This was taken in November. I think he had maybe two sessions in October, um, and then he had a few in September, and everything else, like all the haltering stuff was from the summertime. So he, he didn't have a whole lot going on. So I had a different job, working a lot more, just didn't have very much time and going to school. So I just didn't have any time for him, unfortunately. But he does remember the haltering, so this looks good. He's probably a little bit more tense than he was last time. I think he was a little bit more relaxed. Um, but just trying to keep that in mind. He is he still did get the halter on, so we like that. And I want to make sure that he's cool with touching the target and moving forward backward, and then I'm gonna add in some um like pressure on the halter leak up. So ask him to just kind of touch it here. And he already knows to touch this target. It's just a crop with a like a wider end, like a jumping crop. It's not used as a crop, it's just used as a target. So he already is familiar with that. So asking him there, it's a little harder to see. I'm just applying some backward pressure on the halter rope and then asking him to follow that target back. So the target just makes it very clear for him, like this is what I'd like you to do. So um, then the pressure isn't quite so scary and it isn't something you have to fight against. So that's a better angle right there. You could see that where I'm just asking really gently with the halter and then showing him with the target and then when he does it cor correctly I'm clicking and rewarding. And so here he just got confused because so we had been working on the backup. I'm just gonna let go. It's not a big deal. I was asking him to go forward and he got confused. He thought I was supposed to back up. So I probably should have worked on the backup a few more times like giving him a break and then worked on the forward because I don't want to add in like forward back forward backward. I added that in a little too early I think and he just didn't quite understand. So you can't really see here because I'm kind of in the way. But I'm trying to ask him to come forward so he was a little worried and, and just like quick in his motions here. So I just want to relax him. It's not a big deal. We're not doing anything. He gets like a little too excited about the food. I just want to work on him following it back. That was really nice. It's like not a big deal. Just break it down. Make sure he knows the target part first before I add anything new. Since he was a little worried and tense about it, I want to make sure that that stuff's all good. So we have that. Okay, so he's a little bit worried about me like touching the halter, touching his face. He didn't really want any part of that. So I'm just going to work on just rubbing him a little bit. There we go. And just kind of getting him used to there we go doing a little bit of desensitizing even it out a little bit so if he's worried about that i need to work on touching him before i ever need to work on leading him so i could have even worked on that a little bit longer so i cut out some places there because you could not see what i was doing at all because my body was in the way so we're still doing the same thing just a little bit of leading backwards and forwards moving off of that halter pressure so um, he kind of just doing a little touches and really not even taking steps. That's okay because he seems pretty confused about going forward. So I'm not too worried about that. I want him to just just follow the target or just lean forward. All of that would be good. So I really should have worked on him targeting in front of him and following it forward like I did backward. So then he wouldn't be quite as um, worried about that one. But I mean it's different kind of pressure too. So might be just worried about that in general. That was good. He just moved that one right front foot, but we'll take it. We'll ask a little bit more. And he just let me touch the halter there, so we'll take that. So it's going to be a lot of desensitizing and then asking him to do something. So ask here. That was really nice. And again, I probably rushed a lot of things here should have kept using that target and not just keep relying on the rope halter he did well but you could see that he was really tense going forward so definitely needed to set him up for both forward and backward a bit better it's a good learning tool so there i had him follow the pressure and the target forward we didn't get a forward step but i got a forward lean so we'll take it because i didn't work on him just touching the target like there i should have worked on that and then him following it forward and then should have started out to the right side of the screen here so that he had space, there we go, to follow it forward so I'm not getting my hands tangled up in the gate and stuff like that. He had space to come forward. But it's important right now that I don't attach any leader ropes or anything because I don't want him to get scared and run away and 
he's on the other side of the fence. We don't need any of that. So just let him hang out here and, and chew and I'll work on some petting and desensitizing and reminding him about those things. And then we'll work a little bit more on the leading. He's got the backup down. Backup looks really nice. I just didn't really set him up correctly for that forward movement. So just trying to look back, have a learning moment here. Definitely should have set him up better. That was actually pretty good. I have that target out, really show him, make it very clear. Because Caster was, I feel like I skipped some steps here because I had led Caster before. And that was like the year prior when he went to this pasture. Um, and he was great and he was fine. And then I was just kind of took that for granted and he hadn't done it. So he was just like, kind of like, oh, well, I don't know what this is. This is different context and everything. So I think I definitely thought too much of that and that he would just pick that right back up. And I shouldn't have because Atlas didn't, I didn't do that with Atlas. When we moved Atlas, he just followed me. He wasn't being led. So I really had to break it down for him. So I feel like having Atlas be more difficult definitely helped me with Caster. So. But he's got the backup looks quite nice. So really right now the back looks good and that's because I set him up a lot more for it than I did the forward. So that is very important. So let's see if all there. That was pretty nice. I should have asked for just the one step but he's getting it. So even though it's not the prettiest um, and it's a little bit hard to see he did really well and he's really trying hard here and he's doing it for hay too. So he was really really good. Let's have him change sides. And just end on like a nice relaxed note. 